Hey, so in this video I'll be doing the easter eggs and predictions of Season 4, Episode 12 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So beware of spoilers if you have not caught up. Uh, so, it was more of a light-hearted episode with uh, the Canings being brought back into the story. And, uh, and the theme of him him being rob like them being robots and like LMDs and clones and stuff like that, that has, brought, has still brought back up from si since Season 2. And we finally get what the answer is. Uh out this episode throughout this episode but they actually were still continuing that theme with uh, uh, them talking about uh, th their program to handle pain uh, that uh, that uh, is it a, a brother or a replica or like the, the first per like the first caning to be brought into shield uh, that these were brought into like the assembly line and like a clone like a, they, they had they had a um, enough DNA to have a clone army but we find out that he's actually they were just engineers from like the LMD program and people jumped on that r this right away saying that oh they finally fixed the continuity of uh, this MCU about the whole LMD arc which that's not true they actually did a uh, they did acknowledge that uh, right away in the first uh, like w when we first meet Ada in the season uh, season 3 finale uh, Radcliffe says this is based off of S.H.I.E.L.D. programming. Uh, so, right away, uh, they fixed the continuity before this whole entire LMD storyline even worked out. I didn't even realize that uh, before until I re someone pointed out and re so I rewatched that scene and it actually is true that there was no continuity error, error at all. So, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, that That's it for, uh, like, uh, uh, the LMD part, but throughout this episode, uh, the Koenigs were referencing a lot of different things. Uh, they re like right at the beginning, they reference like uh, where we're going. We don't need roads for uh, Back to the Future, but then they have like references to uh, uh, Star Wars with uh, these aren't the droids you're looking for. Uh, Curse my metal body. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, I wasn't fast enough. Uh, Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, and like throughout, uh, I, I have a bad feeling about this, uh, and uh, they even reference the storm, like the stormtrooper saying that shields shields the stormtroopers in this at like world, like, uh, and uh, when uh, they were, uh, Radcliffe was putting that helmet on to see uh, uh, Eric or. Billy's uh, memories. Uh, the one scene pops up and it has a uh, them de uh, making like pop, like building uh, like a head or something like that, and we find out it's actually just a Dar or Darth Vader uh, helmet clock. And I don't know if it was just me, but I right away because it's this whole theory about the LMBs and robots and stuff like that. I really thought uh, it was going to be confirmed that they were re uh, robots, so I thought that's what they were do doing there was actually building a, an actual robot, a version of Kanix. So yeah, but I was dead wrong about that too. But I'll get back to that part being dead wrong about that later on. But uh, Thurston, we meet, we meet in this episode is uh, isn't a big fan of Shield, <coughs> and they call he they call he calls them the agent of doom uh but and i looked that up because i didn't know exactly if that meant anything important but uh but when it what pops up was it was a reference to star wars but it was also a reference to uh ratchet and clank the game because in the in the game as far as i understand i've never played it so but there's like li these little like tree like android things that are called the Ag agents of doom so i want to lean more towards that because it goes it leans more back into like the robot themed part of the like uh episode uh yeah but other easter eggs and references were when mac was talking to uh radcliffe saying that we're not gonna put you back together again if you've ever read the or heard <coughs> heard of the nursery rhyme Humpty Dumpty you know what that uh, is directly referencing 
uh, but yeah. Uh, again, with when Radcliffe is looking through the memories of uh, <coughs> Billy, uh, they pop up at a library, which where the Darkhold is. But the name of the library is called Pleasant Hill, and in the comics, Pleasant Hill is actually uh, a town where uh, Maria Hill is actually uh, the head of it, and it's like a prison, pretty much, where they put all the crimi like bad criminals in there with uh, altered memories and stuff like that, so they could be a better per like better people in society, which reminded me of Tahiti right away. But the timeline wise doesn't add up, so the 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 Easter egg is <coughs> the library <coughs> name is referencing the comic book uh, storyline, but the storyline uh, from the comics could have been influenced by the Tahiti project from Asian Shield. Uh, so, because uh, one of the inhabitants of this uh, uh, town is actually Mr. Hyde, and we know in the Asian Shield, Mr. Hyde was actually put into the Tahiti program to uh, be a better person in society. So, it's possible that they were uh, in that comic book was influenced by Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. After, I think it was a year a year or so after uh, the whole entire Tahiti aspect, like, storyline was wrapped up, so, yeah. We also get a confirmed uh, c confirmation that uh, they have fan fiction in uh, this MCU with uh, <coughs> Black Widow and uh, Quake being called uh, Quack. Uh, I don't understand where uh, why people would ship these people because they don't like have that much in common. So uh, <coughs> the internet's a weird place. Just is, but yeah, they also reference uh, things like uh, the Tin Man from uh, Wiz the Wizard of Oz and uh, Gollum from. Uh, from uh, Lord of the Rings, because when Radcliffe was going crazy, he was acting like he was like he want he wanted uh, the book so bad, so he was basically what uh, Gollum is in in Lord of the Rings. But yeah, they also reference uh, uh, Red Dawn, which is actually a movie, or I think it's also a book, but. Uh, it's about the Russians coming into the states with another group, uh, another place, killing uh, the uh, the Americans and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty much what uh, Sam says, uh, they have a whole uh, uh, whole Red Dawn thing going on with uh, the Russians and stuff like that, which br brings me back brings me to a point where they reference uh, Bobby and Hunter and the Russian Prime Minister from Season 3 where how they were basically had to be pushed out of S.H.I.E.L.D. because uh, they killed people in Russia. So now that Russians, the Russians are doing the same thing that uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is uh, blamed for, uh, could there be some kind of like common ground that they somehow deal with like fix all this mess and bring back Bobby and Hunter in a way like because it's basically they are doing the same thing that they were uh, they accused shield of doing so maybe uh, but yeah they reference uh, Eric Koenig uh, Tony Stark uh, Grumpy, Grumpy Cats, Snapchats, Con Kanye's, so if <coughs> there's nothing to really explain there, they were just outright said who they were, like, but, uh, they, ref uh, uh, Sam says, uh, I couldn't talk, say anything ab about the Dark Gold when, uh, all the red shirt, uh, red shirts are around, uh, for the people that don't know what he was meaning was uh, in Star in Star Trek. There's a lot of red shirts that just completely die. So if you wear a red shirt, you di you die pretty much. So basically, uh, saying that all the background people of Shield is probably gonna die, like they're not important. 
but there was an indirect reference to uh, Thor at the end of the episode where uh, the superior we me we meet, but I'll get back to I'll get back to that later. Uh, how he was uh, uh, having like photos of uh, Coulson at uh, the site of Thor's hammer, and then uh, those two pictures were fine to me, uh, but when we find out. <coughs> Uh, but when they look at it, another photo with uh, Coulson at uh, Eli's pri like, like visiting Eli, uh, that picture just looked really weird. I don't know why they would f pick that photo. Like the other two were fine, just this one wasn't for me. Uh, yeah. Then they uh, <coughs> uh, so for prediction, pretty much like the only thing I have like. They reference a ward, and then they still continue with the theme of like the honey, the honeycomb like hexagon thing, where uh, I like that little detail. Like they still have that detail, even if it's not in a, a giant room. It's uh, it's just on table, like giant honeycomb. But yeah, uh, for predict for predictions, uh, we find we meet the uh, the superior. And uh, he's named his name is Anton Abanov. He's not from the comics. He might he might be later on, but like as of right now, he's no he's no one from the comics. It could be an an adaptation from uh, the all new Ghost Rider comics, since we just basically dealt with uh, Mr. Hyde's formula and all like his stuff. How it's tied back to the actual comics of uh, Robbie Reyes it's possible that Anton Ivanov is actually uh, Ye Yegor Iv Ivanov uh, he's there's a pretty much a Russian guy uh, same last name same color hair same colored eyes so it's possible that that who he is but for predictions pretty much he he's more he's pretty much a jealous char uh, character he doesn't uh, like how uh, he, the Inhumans don't earn uh, this power and all that kind of stuff. So it's and uh, we know that the Mr. Hyde formula is still going around, like with uh, the whole uh, Patriot storyline. So and it is a big he, mul multiple people, as far as I understand, do take the Mr. Hyde pills in the comics. So maybe at some point uh, Ivanov gets his hands on the actual. Uh, Mr. Hyde serum that uh, uh, was called serum that uh, was created by the government now, but yeah, and uh, that's about it for predictions for there. But uh, when I would really want to know what's going on with that that possessed uh, demon uh, Radcliffe, I actually uh, found out what he was saying. Cause it's actually in Latin. In Latin, I'm not gonna say exactly what it is here. I'll put it all in the description description below. But I'm actually glad that they confirmed that Ada's code is a lot different than Radcliffe's and May's code. So that means she's not gonna be possessed, not gonna turn evil. So that's good. So comment down below what you thought of this episode. And what uh, if I missed any Easter e Easter eggs and predictions? See ya. Or Easter eggs and references. See ya.